Good day students, today we are talking on the subject called physics. Physics is a branch of science concerned with the nature, properties of the matters and energy. Nature refers to whether the matter is in the solid form, liquid form or gaseous form. The subject matter of physics includes mechanics, heat, light, other radiations, sound, electricity, magnetism, and structures of the atom. When you talk about the mechanics, mechanics deal with the study of the motion when it's being subjected to a force or displacement, which eventually results to the changing of the motion of the object in respect to the environment. And the father of physics is often uh, considered to be Isaac Newton. He made significant contributions to the field of physics, particularly in the area of mechanics and the uh, gravitation, the area of mechanics and gravitation through his groundbreaking works. And also we could see that physics is based on exact measurement. Every such measurement involves two things, require two things. First, a number or quantity and secondly, a unit. E.g., I can say 10 meters is the length as the length of a room 10 meters is the length of a room when you don't just mention 10 you have to put unit which is meters please take notes now we're going to talk on fundamentals and derived quantity fundamental quantities can be defined as the quantities basic quantities that are independent of other quantities see they are basic points that are independent of others and cannot be defined in terms of other quantities or derived from them uh, they are the basic quantities upon which most though not all quantities depend for example length in meters time in seconds mass in kilogram electric current in ampere, temperature in Kelvin, amount of substance in mole. These are the unit abbreviations. Electric current, current, use ampere, use capital letter A to represent electric current. Temperature, use K, Kelvin. And length is in meters. These are the quantities in which they stand on their own. They are independent of other quantities. But when we get to a derived quantity, the next class we are going to be combining fundamental quantities together different units to give us the right quantity that's why i said they are basic quantities that are independent independent means that they don't depend on any other before the stand time is time mass is mass and cannot be defined in terms of other quantities or derived from there they stand on their own can't derive anything from them. Is that okay? It's time. But when you get to derive quantities, you join them to get this fundamental together to give you the right quantity. But you can't join, you can't derive anything from them to give you this. To give you all this unit. They stand on their own, they are independent. This is the end of our class. Please subscribe to my channel so that you can have access to the latest video. Have a wonderful day.